OK, staying with transfer news, we can get uh, to the big transfer news of the day in WSL. Arsenal have signed England international Nikita Paris from Lyon for a club record fee of £86,000. Delighted you to say you can see Nikita there joining us at live. Congratulations. How did the move come about? How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling very confident and very happy to have joined Arsenal. It's a great club with a great history and I'm looking forward to being back in the WSL. Yeah, what have you learned actually during your time with Lyon that you can bring back here now you're back home? I think Lyon's history speaks for itself. It's, you know, an unbelievable club that, you know, got hold of many trophies in the Champions League and the league itself. So from there, I've learned how to adopt the winning mentality and really want to bring that to Arsenal, who in the past, you know, won many trophies in the English League and... Hopefully we can do that moving forward. Yeah, I'm sure you're absolutely eyeing up some silverware. What What are your ambitions for your time at Arsenal? Do you set yourself sort of targets? Yeah, of course you want to, you know, contribute to scoring goals as a striker. But ultimately the most important thing is that the team wins trophies. And as I've said before, Arsenal have a rich history of winning trophies and hopefully I can bring that to the club again. Mm. Prior to leaving... Manchester City as well. You were top scorer in WSL history. Your new teammate, Vivian Mudema, holds the honour now. Is returning to the top of that list a bit of a target for you? Yeah, naturally, as a striker, you want to score goals, you know, create assists, um, help the team to win games. And, you know, with the front line that we've got, Vivian Medema, Beth Mead, Mana Iwabuchi, um, you know, there's great talent there. So, Hopefully we can score goals and win games for Arsenal. It's a huge year for women's football and WSL. How excited are you to be back ahead of the league's biggest season yet? We're hoping that we'll have some fans as well that will be able to, to come and watch you too. Yeah, I'm really excited to be back in the WSL. You know, it's a great league. Um, over the past two years since I haven't been there, it's really grown um, into one of the best leagues in the world. So I'm really looking forward to being back. Yeah, and we're looking forward to, to having these games live as well on Sky Sports, which will be really exciting for us. Also, you have got Olympics coming up. You're going to be heading to Tokyo. How are you preparing for your adventure with Team GB? We're currently now in Loughborough. You're coming live from my actual hotel ah. room. Ah. Um, so we're in preparation camp. Um, we fly out on the 7th of July and... You know, we're really looking forward to it. We're putting the hard work in now to ensure that we're in the best condition when we get to Tokyo. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be an incredible experience. You played in some massive games for England and helped win the She Believes Cup. Obviously, the men's side preparing to face Ukraine. I'm pretty sure you'll be watching that match. Uh, what advice would you give to them? I think there's no better advice than just enjoy every moment, you know. They're going into... You know, a big game, um, the quarterfinal of a Euros against Ukraine with the possibility to, you know, push on and reach a semi-final. Eventually, hopefully, I'm wishing a final. So, you know, just enjoy each moment and put your best foot forward each minute. Mm. Well, enjoy every moment of Tokyo. Really excited to watch Team GB in action and, and all the very best as well with your signing at Arsenal. Thank you very much.